Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the tarot room. My name is Robin, and Sage, today, let's just do a general love reading. Let's talk about you and your love life. Let's see what's going on, what's coming down the chute. If nothing's been going on, let's see what's coming through. Let's talk about you, Sage. Let's see what's going down. Spirit guides, what up with the Sagittarius Collective when it comes to love? What's going on? What's worth waiting for? Hmm. It's a little bit of a bittersweet card, isn't it? Divine timing, is that working your love life? <laughs> all right, all right, let's see what this is talking about. Let's see what they're talking about here. For that card to come out, I'm thinking maybe now is the time, let's find out. And Sajay, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings, if you want one, you may find that link in the description box below. All right, let's talk about this. We have the 10 of wands, we have the seven of wands, clearly some kind of, there's the Hierophant. You might've been, um, you're determined, okay, let's just get the, Sometimes I just want to get into it, and sometimes I get all the cards out. But sometimes it's really clear what the message is, and I just want to get down to business. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Hierophant, we have the Hangman, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Come on, we want some love. We want love. There we go. We got the Ten of Pentacles, baby. What else we got here for Sad Jay? King of Pentacles could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically a Taurus. Heavy Taurus energy here, baby. And the devil in reverse, heavy Capricorn. There's a lot of okay. Ooh, what the three of swords on the bottom here, cap or we almost called you cap because I we have all these cards. Okay, there's the two of swords. Okay, okay. Let me say it one more time. Okay, let's get into your reading. So I feel as though you've been working. I feel like you've been putting yourself out there, or you've just been determined to find the right person. You're ready for real love, basically. This isn't a Sagi who wants to play the field, go out and have some fun. This is a Sag collective who I feel is single and wants a relationship. You want your person. You want your soulmate, the person you're going to build your life with, the person that you can fall in love with, and the person that will fall in love with you. You want real love, um, but you felt stuck. So you just haven't been happy with your options, haven't been pulling in the right person, you know, been pulling in people who are not compatible, right? And the reality of things and the way that I look at it is, there is one person who's compatible for us in our life. That's our soulmate. That's the person we have our soul contract with. And uh, you definitely haven't found them yet. Well, <laughs> let's find out. Maybe, you, well, it depends where you are in this little story, right? I always go past, present, future, but it's a general reading. The energies, the timeline is going to vary. But I do feel you're single. I do feel you're waiting for the right person. You may have already met them because here they are, but you might not have yet. But go find out. Well, actually, I'll find out in the comments because you can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> have you met this person or are you still waiting to meet them baby um but i do feel you're stuck you want a right person right you're not going to settle into something you know there's those people who just like relationship hop and they settle into relationships and it's like you see them on facebook and like every couple months they got someone new that they're in love with that's not you <laughs> and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that they can do what floats their boat everyone's different but that's not you you're content being single you'll just wait for the right person so what's the two of pentacles in reverse why is this upside down here talk to us we want to know right now Yeah, but, and there's justice. So it could be a Libra you're dealing with or coming through, there's you. You've just been wondering why. I, I get that essence of like, why hasn't it happened to me? You know, you're sitting in the cafeteria at the mall and you see all these couples in love and it's like, where's my love, motherfucker? Where's my love? Why haven't I met my soulmate? You know, why haven't I pulled this in yet? And everything happens in, <laughs> don't hate me, don't hate me, divine timing. So remember, there's another person involved. So you might have done the work. Your frequency might be high, but they got to join you. Otherwise, you guys will walk by each other in the cafeteria at the mall. You won't even notice each other because you're on different vibes, different frequencies, different wavelengths, right? But I do feel you're you're ready. And I feel you must be might be getting a little frustrated or tired of meeting the wrong people. But justice is going to be served. Balance shall be restored. You got yourself a motherfucking king of pentacles. So someone who's very stable, um, someone who's grounded, someone who's nurturing, someone who's a protector, um, it could be an alpha, uh, female, male, alpha male, but someone who likes to provide, someone who likes to, to protect and take care of business. So tell us about this person. What do you want to say about this? Ten of cups, king of pentacles. They make you pretty happy, but we have the devil in reverse. So we're going to find out what that means too. Let's get these cards out because a few cards flipped here, clarifying this. So, oh, the queen of swords. Okay. What do we got here? What do we got here? The ten of pentacles. Whoa. Uh, I was going to call you Cap again because I keep looking at this devil. You very well could be dealing with the Capricorn. Six of Pentacles, baby. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, Cap. Uh, I was going to call you Cap again. Ah, You could be dealing with Capricorn. Besides, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't hate me. This is what's coming out in the cards. 
So take this message if it resonates, but if it doesn't, you know, don't, don't flip off. Don't hate me. Don't come and yell at me. Um, they want you to drop your guard a little bit. You might be coming off. You know, it's that energy of when you're single for so long, you're just single. <laughs> you're just used to it. That's just you. You're just single. You're just chill, chilling like a villain, doing your fucking thing. And you might get a little bit guarded. And I see this person perceiving you as a little bit guarded. This person wants it all with you because the King of Pentacles is beside the Ten of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. And with that devil in reverse, it represents somebody who they may have been a player. They may have had addictions. They may have had negative things in their life or they could have been a superficial Capricorn for that devil to be upside down. But there's someone that's come around. This person's done the work and they're perceiving you as a little bit too independent, trying to figure out, especially if they're an alpha, they're going to be like, how can I fit into Sajay's life? Like, I'm just going to use myself as an example. <laughs> I don't want to use myself as an example. I'm going to try. They just, they're trying to figure out how they can fit into your life. What can I do? What's my purpose? How can I serve this? Um, because you're coming off very independent. And especially if they're a provider or if that alpha energy, they want to provide for you. They want to fit in your life. They want to have a need. They want to have a purpose. They want to make your life better. And they're trying to figure that out. I think I had this reading a couple months ago, actually. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. I don't know. I do so many readings. I don't know. Um, but it's what I feel. They're ready to give to this. The, the scales are there twice. This is your person, Sag, and they want to move forward with you. There's a lot of feelings. There's a lot of love. Um, there's deep emotions. Your intuition's telling you this. You know this is your person, and it's just about dropping your guard a little bit and letting them in, um, you know, letting them know how they can be a part of your life. Does that make sense to you? I hope it does. I hope I'm articulating that the correct way because that's what I feel, um, and they're trying to figure that out. How can they fit into Cappy's life? Ah! I keep calling you Cappy. Could be dealing with the cap. But let's talk about this devil in reverse. If it's a Capricorn, it's definitely a reading. <laughs> but they could just have Capricorn in their chart. So what is the devil in reverse here for Saj? Because I do feel that, um, yeah, many of you. And that, whoa, Nelly. Sound like a horse there. But the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers, this is it. This is your person, Saj. So um, let them in. <laughs> they want you to let them in. They're knocking at your door. Knock, knock, knock. Um, they want everything with you. You are their dream come true. You are their wish fulfillment. You manifested this person. So here they are staring you in the face and they feel um, that you're very independent and they're trying to figure out how they fit into your life. <laughs> so that's what I see. That's what I feel. If they're a Capricorn, then they used to be very, um, maybe that's why I didn't meet them before. They had to do the work too, right? There's two of you. It takes two, baby. Just me and you. So anyway, um, the reason that this three of swords is here is, um, and again, it's a little bit of a harsh message. I apologize, Saj, but this three of swords is self-sabotage. So I think you're coming off very independent and you know, you don't want to be needy and definitely a Sagittarius isn't going to be fucking needy, but this just person just needs reassurance of how they can fit into your life, how they can make your life better. That's what I'm seeing here. So I'll stop saying it. I think I said it like a thousand fucking times. So that's what I see. Let's talk about what you need to surrender to. When it comes to this love. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right. Spirit guides, what is sad you need to surrender to? What do you want to say? What you want to say? Your need to always be right. Oh, don't shoot the messenger. I already told you that. Don't hate me. Um, so give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. And surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy there. And resentments, yeah. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. Now, when people are very independent, uh, a lot of times it's because people have let them down. They learn that they can only depend on themselves. So it's just about forgiving those people and learning to allow that back into your life. I feel like that's what they want to say here. You know, you can't change the past. You can't change people. The only thing you can do is change yourself and your reactions. I say it all the time. Sometimes I feel like a broken record, but it's true. <laughs> what is the caring connection here between Sad Jay and what appears to be a Capricorn or someone with a lot of earth in their chart? And if not, they're just someone very grounded or successful at work. Very stable. You got a stable person. You got a provider. I can feel it. What it Whoa, we got a lot of cards coming out here. One moment here. Let's get these all together. So watch out for signs leading you to your true love. 1111, baby. This is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. Respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Respect your relationships and obstacles. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. So look for ways to let this person know they can fit into your life. <laughs> Sorry to say that. Sorry to say that. 
All right, let's grab the light series. Let's get your potential outcome. So when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you guys are in a month? How are things going? This person wants it all with you. They want the Ten of Cups. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want the Hierophant. This is husband or wife material if you want to get married. If you don't, this is just someone you can build a life with. So let's talk about it. How are things progressing? How are things going? We got the Ace of Pentacles, baby. What else we got? So I say potential. I can't remember if I said this because we have free will. Um, and where are you in a month? So Seven of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I see. The Queen of Swords is still there. Uh, why is she still here? We'll find out what's beside her. What's she looking at? Where's she going? Oh, I seen the Burden card, but it didn't come out. Hold on. The Five of Swords. There's the... <gasps> That's what I'm saying. The Six of Pentacles. That's what I'm saying. That's the motherfucking Empress. You are the Empress. We got a very, very independent Saji collective here. Uh, you take care of business. Nobody. You don't need nobody for nothing. Um, but that doesn't mean you don't want somebody. Um, so I see this person being very strategic. Like I said, they know you're the one for them and they're just, um, they want this new beginning. They want this fresh start. They see you as husband or wife potential. We already saw that back here. We see it again, the King and the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the same court cards come out. That is soulmate energy. That is a match. That is two people who are compatible. Hey, this Queen of Swords came out twice too. Maybe they're also very independent, especially if they're an earth sign. They probably take care of business yourself. So you have two independent people who may have been single for a while trying to come together. Um, and that creates people who need to work together, people who need to compromise, people maybe you need to sacrifice or maybe you need to step outside your comfort zone. But we have two very independent people from what I see here. Um, but they also see the value and the worth. The Five of Swords is... Um, <laughs> I feel like it's this person saying, how can I fit into your life, Sajay? What can I do to make your life better? What can I give you? Um, especially if they're an earth sign, they may want to give you a gift. Maybe you have everything. You just, you, you work, you buy it, you see something you want, you fucking get it. You don't sit there and pine for shit. Um, but I do want to clarify the five of swords because there's a little bit of a, I think it's a bit of a challenge. I do think we have two very independent people coming together here, um, trying to figure out how each other can, you know, enter each other's lives. <laughs> That's what I feel. What do you say about this Five of Swords? Did I miss it? Is there anything you want to say to that? Am I understanding the correct message? Yeah, I am. So it's going to be about compromise um, and understanding. This is a really, I really like this reading, um, but I feel that they're both going to have that challenge in the sense that you have to um, learn how to accept help. <laughs> and it, it, I feel it goes both ways, to be honest here, uh, Sag. I feel it's you and the person that you're about to meet here. But you've met the one. This is the person for you. This is the person that's going to compliment you. And you guys will figure it out. That's what I see. Because the Ace of Pentacles is a, is a beginning, but it's a successful new beginning. There's an offer of love on the table here. This person's putting their heart out there. They want you to do the same. And they're being very strategic because, again, they're trying to figure out how to fit in there. Um, and maybe they're trying to figure out how to fit you in. I think it's a, I'm feeling at both energies and I keep repeating myself, which means that it's like re-emphasized in the reading. I hate when I repeat myself. I hate that shit, but I'm a Saji. <laughs> Fuck that shit, right? Sajis, but I am and that's how it is. So that's what I got. That's the challenge I see. I see a very independent, very independent um, people coming together and it's going to take compromise conversations and working together. That's all it is. You just got to express yourself um, and learn how to accept help and, and you know, that's what I feel and figure out where they can fit into your life and them do the same because I do feel this is your, your your soulmate and it was worth the wait that's what I got for you baby that's what's going on here sad Jay so if you like your reading if you resonate if you like my style I do ask that you like comment subscribe helps my channel to grow thanks for the support Saj thank you I appreciate that and today we're going to close your reading off with a yes or no question spirit guides what's the answer for Saj now, Sag, if the card comes upright, it's a yes. If the card comes in reverse, it's a no. It does not matter what the card is. It's the direction. So, Spirit Guides, what's the answer for Sag? Yes or no? The answer is no. That's what I got for you, baby. Truly wish you the best of luck, Sag. Until next time.